Hi guys! I wanted to come to you today with an update on my decluttering video, or challenge, not video. I mentioned this in a couple of um, videos at the beginning of April that I was going to do a decluttering challenge. And the reason why I just kind of put it in at the, I think it was on my empties video and another video, was because I didn't think this was going to be any big deal. And the challenge that I set for myself <laughs> was to get rid of 30 things every day for 30 days. And I thought, how difficult can this be? Or how can I possibly screw this up? Dear Lord, only I can, oh my word, this has been the biggest fiasco. So I have already filled up my edge, the whole back end of it, half of the back seat, that went to the Goodwill. Yesterday I took three bags of towels and blankets to the vet um, because they were needing some so I took those to them. I mailed Gretchen Cats and Paws, if she has a video up <laughs> that she showed of all of the craft stuff that I sent to her in a box and she about had a stroke. I told her you're getting a large box of stuff and I don't think she realized that I was going to send what I did and um, you'll see it on this piece of paper I've got down here um, that day. But I was like okay this is going to be 30, you know, just pick out 30 things a day that you don't want and get rid of it. I have gone, I haven't even scratched the surface. I I have scratched the surface and I'm not doing the Marie Kondi um, method and the reason why and if you can do that God bless you because I wish I could do that method but as we all know here I'm about as focused as a goose so I will be in one room one minute and I'll go to throw something in the Goodwill pile and I'll end up in another room and I'll be in there and then I'll end up in the other end of the house. So that's how my life works. Um, I have literally tore up every room in my house just getting stuff out of here. So the only room that is really halfway salvageable right now is the living room. Um, I've got the couch all cleaned off. I've got my side table cleaned off. Most of it is cleaned off. There's just a few places like a hutch behind me that I piled stuff on now, but I have to go through it. But um, just every room has something still in it. So I may exp extend this 30 things on to 40 days and I have it written out that way and I'll show you how I've been keeping up and this has kind of helped me stay motivated because I've already got two things that I've gotten rid of for today. So the first 15 days that I've been doing this declutter challenge and if you saw my video um, I shot just before this I had I just shot my Hobonichi my new Hobonichi and I was covering something up it's this 30 day declutter plan and it's right here so that is it that's what I was covering up because I didn't want to show that before um, I shot this video but so you can actually read what I've done this is the first 15 days of what I have gotten through and this right here is when I went through all of the stickers that I gave to Gretchen and that's not all of this that's not all stickers there's other stuff in that but that was my largest day. I still have craft stuff to go through. I have candle stuff to go through. Um, when my parents died, that's where a lot of this came from. Um, and this is a lot of the reason why my house got to the way it got. Because when they died, um, I had to move some stuff, all some of their stuff over here. My house was clean. And as I started going through the grieving process, I didn't care. So I would just throw whatever off to the side. Then I went through a stage of buying stuff. And when I went out, I would come home with anywhere from one to ten bags of stuff. And you've seen some of it on hauls and stuff down through the last couple of years that I've had my 
channel where I've just brought in stuff. And so now I'm having to go back through and reevaluate. There is mail here from over a year. And I have it in a box because I don't have a place to shred it. I have a shredder, but at this point it got way out of hand because after my parents died, I literally shut down. I, like, if you've watched Gretchen's video, um, I lost my passion for crafting, for painting, um, really for a lot of things in life. And it wasn't until I got into YouTube that I started getting a passion, enjoying life again and seeing people and being um, interacting with people that I liked the same things as because people that I know in everyday life don't like the same things as I like candles or makeup or anything like that. So um, that's what really started this and I came up with this brilliant idea in March to um, do this and I thought April's 30 days and it'll be a great thing to do and Lord have mercy um as you can tell that's uh, this is I was at the end of the challenge I was supposed to have 900 things this right here is 954 already and this is 15 days so um my trash can was totally full um, Friday when they dumped it. The recycle bin was totally full. I have given bags of stuff to friends. Um, everybody's getting a little bit of something. And so it's just funny that some of the stuff I found in this house and I'm like, what on earth? I don't even remember seeing this or buying this or whatever. So it's been an eye-opening thing. It's one of these things that's not easy and I will have to go through another round of just, once I get the surface clean, you know, the things out of here that I don't want, then I'm gonna go back through and do another challenge and I don't know what it's gonna be called, but um, where I look deeper into things. And so this is gonna take more than a month and I didn't realize that. But I thought it was going to be, you know, me and my simple brain. It's going to be simple. Let's just go with it. So, um, it's not as simple as it looks. And like, as my mom used to always say, you didn't mess the house up in a day. You're not going to get it clean in a day. And she, so right. Um, there are so many things that woman was right on. And, um, she'd be laughing right now if she heard me say that. So, but I wanted to let you know how I'm doing. I'm still on it. I'm still working with it. This has, I just made this up while I was um, just set in one day and it has 40 days on it. So maybe I may take it to the 40 days if there's still enough stuff that I can get rid of in 40 days. Um, but yeah, I'm not throwing it all away. It's going to the Goodwill. It's gone to the vet. It's gone to friends. Um, if there's another charity that I can find something that needs it, something that I have, I will give it to them. Family, friends, whatever it takes, I'm giving it to them. And I just want my life to be clean and just, I think that helps my anxiety. I really do that. I didn't realize how much it was setting off my anxiety. And last night I was sitting there and there was a few things laying on the couch. And usually that doesn't bother me. And I kept looking at the couch. And finally, I had to get up and I had to clean the couch off. And then I could sit down. And I was like, okay, who are you? Because this is not you. Because usually I'm just like, I don't really care less. Because that's usually my attitude. So, but this is a long process. If you start to do this, you have to want to do it at that point. And at this point, I want to do this. Um, before I always said yes, I want to clean my house up and then I would go sit down and watch TV and, be, and forget about it in five minutes. So when I thought about this challenge and I kept thinking about it, I knew it was something that I wanted and I it was something that I had to do and so I'm trying to hold myself responsible and I just wanted to let you all know how I was doing. I know a lot of you told me you wanted updates. Um, so that was as of the 15th today this is the 16th today's easter um i'm shooting some videos on easter and um so i will come to you on after the 30th and i will tell you what 
the 30th what I've done up to the 30th and whether I'm gonna still be getting 30 days or 30 things a day after the 30 days or if I'm gonna move on to the second phase of this um, declutter challenge so I just wanted to keep you informed of what I'm doing because some of you all wanted to know no it's not easy if you have any questions if you all have enough questions that you want me to answer as to what I'm doing um, I could do a video on that if you just have if there's just a few questions um, leave questions I don't care down in the um, comment section I will answer any of your questions about it um, because this is kind of difficult and I haven't touched the surface of the emotional things yet I haven't gone that far um, I'm just getting the things that I know that I could give a flip about so if you all would like um, me to answer some questions in another video about how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, what am I doing, I'm, I don't know if I can tell you that, but um, let me know down in the comments what you want me to do. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.